Anyway, this is exciting. Yeah, I'm really, really intrigued. Okay, so all the stuff we said before, there it is. Yeah. There's the Q drop. Literally five seconds in, are you serious? It didn't work because, like we were saying, Toussaint was on the other side of the shield, but he still got the down smash off of it. Yeah, this is also, um, like, in the whole history of these guys, the amount of time that Ryobeat has had Q drops mm -hmm. as one of his tools that he just can do, because it's yeah. a tech. Like, it took him time to really learn it, but since he's had it down, they've played a bunch of sets. Yeah. Couldn't tell you how many, but a bunch. Yeah. And so, um, that was interesting. Um, so Toussaint understands the power of it. True. And it True. will change how he how he uh, approaches Peach and Shield with the turnip. Yeah, I'm, I'm anticipating landing a lot on the side where the turnip is not going to hit, right? Because that's yeah. the most basic level of counterplay. But just the fact that that's gone, you know, just the fact that Toussaint has to play around it. Ryobi can do simple stuff, like wave dash out of shield. Or true, straight true. up roll, you know, yep. things like that yep. are opened up. And so that's the power of opening. And it really is, a, it could be opened up generalized. Mm -hmm. And I will speak generally about melee since we're a minute and 15 seconds in and uh, not a stock has been taken. Why isn't he pulling a turnip right now? This is something that I, I actually think is a, a bigger criticism of Ryobi and Hull. We talked about it me and him. There we go. Yeah. He, there's a lot of times where he could pull turnips that he doesn't. Um, and given how good he is with them, I want to see him pulling turnips so frequently. Could have pulled a turnip there. Right. I get it, though. Like it, You also have the choice of when I pull a turnip, I'm immediately saying, oh, you get space. So, Right. It's interesting. It's it's You have to pick your battles, and Chusain is looking out for, in the neutral, he's looking out for when are these pull-ups, these, these pull-ups, when are these turnips being pulled? Right. Um, that's my opportunity. Right. And so I think Whoa. Ryobi is really good. And uh, Fair, as we see, is just not the best scaling move. Mm -hmm. um, also, these guys are on pace for a timeout. Yeah, wow. Past two minutes that the first stock was taken. Pretty incredible. Um, what were man. we talking about? I don't remember. Q drops, turnips. Ryobi needs to pull turnips. Yeah, it's tough because it's a give and take. If you want to get a stray hit first, if you want to wait until they back up, and because that was right there, that last turn up, he had the option between taking a bit of center stage and pulling a turn up. Yeah, and we've seen it a lot too. Like when Two Saints in the corner, there are moments where because Two Saint is backing off, Ryobi could pull a turn up. But if you do that, you let Two Saint safely go to side platform or something, right? Right. And you lose so much of the pressure that you have. It's always a trade off, and and when Two Saint is playing like very present and, and paying attention to you, that's what he's looking for. Is yeah. There we go. Okay, couple hits. Ooh, that was fancy, but... That's a Z drop. This not is quite a Q drop. I think this is going to go to time. Um, Yeah, they're more on pace. They're more than on pace for a time. Yeah, very, very close. Ryobi did a really, really good job of keeping Two Saint uh, oppressed that, is that entire... A, is that a thing? Uh, no. Winky face, I think. Yeah. Oh. Or the other one. I'm so bad at telling. <laughs> when it's a stitch face? <laughs> just, I just cannot. I was playing Peach earlier, and I just was pulling turnips. I just threw away a stitch face. <laughs> I can't tell. I think, I think stitch faces are, are I just think turnips are bombs very frequently. Because really? there's a certain there's a certain angle where when Peach is facing, that she pulls the turnip, and it's behind her. And all you can see is the green leaves, and it's uh. really dark. And I'm like, oh, it's dark as a bomb. <laughs> yeah. They should not uh, have me work TSA. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Uh, excuse me, are these vegetables uh, explosive? <laughs> oh, interesting. Nice. Oh, is he dead? He wow. absolutely is. Okay. So getting out of that timeout ratio, but still, I yeah. love timeouts. I'll put it out there. Oh, People I, hate I timeouts. Do too. I love timeouts. I mean, it just depends a lot of the time. So it's so much harder for each to run away than Puff in this matchup. And you can see that Ryobi is not playing the same defensive way Toussaint was when he had the lead. He's like still aggressing because if he runs away, you're sort of just forcing yourself into a corner where back air is pressuring you from all sides. Right. It's not as simple as people make it out to be like, oh, you just camp. Oh, you just run away. Oh, you just go on the platform. No. Both of these characters have ways to threaten any type of really defensive play. So you need to just be constantly weaving in and out. Playing the game like any other matchup, it, it just happens to be slower. Yeah, the only way this doesn't go to timeout is if there's a rest, is what I'm saying. Yep. Or a stitch. Or a stitch. Yeah. The X-Factors. Well, I don't know. Actually, there's a lot of percent on Tuesday right now. Another badly died 
kill move like that. <laughs> that was really that was close. Almost perfect. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. No, fair. this might not go to time. I don't know. Ryobi made a really, really big comeback. Honestly, it's only a stock, but like we've been saying about these floating matchups all day, that's pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, for sure. And it's just interesting how he's playing it. He's not. He's really not changing his style or his strategy. He's just doing the the mix-ups. He, he's changing how he's approaching in, in little ways. And I think Two Saints not changing his strategy either is the thing. And that's why it's been going Ryobi's way because he, he started doing stuff that worked out um, with these fairs that are getting him a lot. Looking for kill options really early because Two Saints DI has not quite been as good as it could be. Right. I'm just paying a lot of attention to that one interaction we just saw with the Q drop. Yep, yep. Getting beat by the, the up smash. And okay. All right. Two minutes left. Yeah. One stock apiece. Yeah. If we were going on the pace that this match started on, it would still go to time, but it's definitely gotten quicker paced, more aggressive since well, then. Well, it opens up. Um, having the option, this is, this is really interesting. Um, everyone who's watching is completely locked in. Yeah. Uh, defeating the stereotype that floating matchups are not interesting. Um, these people seem pretty entertained, not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah. Oh man, lots of percent on two Saint. Yeah. Oh, that was such a good Z drop. Oh my god, and then the, the was that a sub float up air? I think it might have been. Yeah, the X Factor is certainly the turnips. Oh rest! Wow. X Factor. Speaking of X Factor. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. I forgot about it. I literally forgot that it was a move. I think that was the first up tilt the entire match. Was that an up tilt? I thought that was an up air. Oh, was it an up air? It might have been an up air. Actually, it probably was. <laughs> Never mind. It was but the first rest of the entire match, I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> wow. And wow. I love, I love going for it too because um, that was not in kill percent if he missed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing, I think that's the, the, the big thing that people bring up most about this matchup is there's no rest punish. Actually, there, there's ways Nico could have killed him. Really? Uh, it requires, it's a DI mix up, but Z drop float turn up into up smash can kill because you get them up to the hitbox that oh, works. you're right. But if the puff DI's right, then they get out from that. And they get hit by either sour spot or don't get hit at all? Oh, yeah, or they just get hit away. Gotcha. But th it, it is possible. And I think Nico's the player to uh, <laughs> have those punishes, not going to lie. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've seen him do them to two saints. Oh, so. okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess my prediction is right. <laughs> but my knowledge is bad. Oh, my God. Two saints. Nice. Not going for it, recognizing that it didn't hit the first time. Yep, and then the second time up. gets the tumble, right? Because that's yep. what you're looking for is yep. the little tumble on the ground. Uh -huh. Interesting thing that I learned the other day from uh, Taucon's Twitter the animation that characters play when they're in that tumble animation on the ground is the same as the tumble animation in the air. Really? Mm hmm That's, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> and it makes sense, too. They're inactive. Yep. Yeah. All right. A sizable lead for two Saint because every stock matters so much here, but... Ryobi made that comeback until he didn't, so... Yep. Oh, that was interesting. Um, why forward throw? I don't know why forward throw. What, what would you prefer to have seen, down throw or up throw? Up throw, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, he's so fast off those platforms. I think Toussaint, honestly, should just camp even more. I agree. I super agree. If you're trying to win... I, which he's doing right now. Wow. Except then, yeah, see when you go in. Well, he was approaching. You yeah. Know, that, that That's was... a stitch. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. okay. Still, huge. One hit, pretty good. Yeah. Give him the lead. Mm. Good DI from Ryo beat there. That could have been Rest City. I'm honestly still surprised that Tuesday won that last game because Nico was in firm control for like uh, three, four minutes. Yeah. Straight. Yeah. Looking for the up air. Nice stuff from Ryobi, but he's still getting pushed out towards the blast zone. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. Why not? You don't have any other option that's going to really punish there, right? Right. 
guess you could like dash attack or something, but nah. <laughs> there it is! That's what he's been looking for. Q drop confirm. Yeah. Oh! Wow. Get off that windmill, man. Up air will kill. Yeah, and you saw him shake his head there, you know, because he. It was a little bit of greed that led to him dying there. He was thinking, I'm on the windmill, I can kill him, but, uh. Nope. Still comfortable pulling turnips. Um, yeah. I think that's good. You gotta stay patient. You can't really give up anything and start going aggro. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Man. Ooh, that's big because it was a dot eyes. Yeah. Dot eyes do 16%. Two state. Real solid lead. Oh. Is that it? No. No, not quite, but no he's going to have to get past a puff up up air here. There we go. Turn up. Yeah, every turn up hit feels so good for Ryobi. I will, he will absolutely take that percent. Oh, yeah. Take that any day. Nice. He's slowly but surely bringing this stock back to even, too. Just saying, take into the air a little bit. I'm wondering how long he's going to keep that up because Ryo Beat will adapt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see right there, he's very, very cognizant that playing a turnip can lead to that, right? You saw how far Puff was away when Ryobi pulled that turn up, and yeah. that bear was so close to hitting still. Yeah, such a sweet spot of, of what's acceptable. Wow, big stuff there from Ryobi. Using the turn up to cover certain options and then mm -hmm. filling his space. He's very, very away. close to being able to kill with an up air or a fair, which have been the primary kill options he's been looking for this entire time. Nice. Yeah. Really, really patient edge guard. Yeah. Yeah, there's the fair. Ooh. Oh, my God. I cannot believe Toussaint did not get hit by any of that. <laughs> that was so good. Just roll out of there, man. Yeah. Okay. Up here might kill now. Okay. Fair. Not the best scaling. No. Nope, like you said. But Toussaint's DI on it hasn't been amazing. In the corner here, Ryobi could definitely... You can see he, he knows that it has led to kills, even if it yep. maybe shouldn't sometimes. Yep. But it's still puff. Yeah. And you're right. Toussaint's DI... Hasn't been the best. He's either been either pointing left or right, so not getting that upwards DI he needs to live. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This one's even closer to time. Two yep. minutes left. Certainly on pace. Yeah. You can see Toussaint, I think, being a little bit more inclined to just uh, disengage now. Um. Yeah. It's such a weird spot because you know at some point Ryobeat's going to get more aggressive. When does he decide to pull that trigger is, is really one thing. One, it's, it's who's going to look at the clock and get distracted by it. Yeah. But also, you have to True. play to wow, it. You have to yeah. understand that it's a factor. It, Dash attack's going to kill off the top. Wow. Okay, okay. 27% lead. Not, Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty. I, I think it could mean a lot, to be honest. This is that can definitely mean a lot. Yeah, um, every hit now is huge. Puff back air does so much damage. And what I think one one indicator of where Two Saints at is he came off the platform immediately. Yeah. I think that's a big deal. Yeah. He's not. Uh, it's tough. You, you you say he's not playing for the timeout, but I don't think you're he's up fifty percent. What else do you do? Mr. Saturn is a good item against Jigglypuff. Okay. Yeah, but he takes it right back. Oh, so much damage on Tuesday. I don't think, I think he is playing for the timeout. He's now just playing he knowing he has the percent lead, you know? So use that time to build percent. Yeah, you have to, you have to play to it now. 35 seconds left. Uh, Nico is knitting. Nico yep. needs an X Factor. You see that? Yep. He's knitting because he's looking for a stitch, basically. Yeah, he's desperate. Looking for a stitch or a beam sword or a bomb. Nope, the game's over. Yeah, the, I, I, Nico, Nico's... Literally, I think he that's is smart. That's the optimal thing to do. You can't even win with it at this point. If he gets it at the end, <laughs> no, it's over. Just, yeah. Yeah. Well. Good. He laughs. He did the thing. 
Uh, All right, two Saint uh, takes game two. Robbie, it's like shit. What am I supposed to do? Kind of a fun little ending. Not the f not not the best timeout I've ever seen, but no. the, the 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 level of play. Uh, that a whole type game. of timeout I've never seen before. It's actually very very indicative of Ryo Beat's uh, comfort in going to timeout with Puff that he recognized the time when it was like, well, I have to start knitting now and try to get yeah. something to win. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of emotion in it. And yeah. that's, I think that's very important. Um, I think what gives them a shot in this is some <laughs> people will just be like, we'll give up, they'll <coughs> SD before the timeout happens. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> they'll be visibly frustrated, but to <coughs> do two thi there's two things that Ralby did. He did the only viable option he had, which was <coughs> to go for the knitting and go for some sort of crazy <coughs> item pull. And then he smiled and laughed after yeah. the game was over. Yeah, exactly. So he did two things that made me more comfortable in where he's at. Um, but Toussaint did two things that made me comfortable where he's at. He yeah. won game one and he won game two. I'm good, I'm good. Water. Great. Yep. Yep. That was a really good turn of phrase, and I wasn't paying attention to it. Tur did two things to make you comfortable with where he's at. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate the appreciation. <laughs> okay, well, we've seen this story before. Two Saints out to an early lead, but he's at a high percent. Can Ryo beat close out the stock in sufficient time? <coughs> My guess is that he will probably close this out before losing his next stock, and then we'll see what happens from there. Well, there's one thing we need to comment on that we've commented on every game. Mm. Um, they are not on pace for timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Not, not quite. Oh, my God. That, uh, on any stage other than Fountain, <laughs> I think that would have killed. That's really funny. Yeah. So Ryobi seems to be kind of speeding up a little bit. Um, maybe maybe Toussaint is, uh, as they say, giving him the rope. Giving him the noose. Yeah, oh, to hang himself. Yeah. Yeah. That that might be the kind of strategy he's going for. Um, Ryobi, I really don't think he should lose faith. In oh, that's. Don't lose faith with that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't throw it again this time. You hold on to it. Because yep. last time he got it, he tried to throw it immediately, which I think was a little bit over ambitious, right? Yep. Oh. <gasps> I, I I actually agree with that very much, because it's so hard for Peach to get down in general. Yeah. You're giving Puff something else to worry about, right? Well, yeah. Also, if you die without throwing it. Exactly. You feel so bad. Yeah. So at least you, you shot your shot. It's true, but Toussaint is um, just kind of picking up this lead little by little. Not letting Ryobi come back in any sense. Ooh. Picking up a turnip for... Oof. I was going to say for Christ's sake. But <laughs> I, already, I guess I did. Ooh, crisp stuff from Ryobi. Yeah. Gonna be looking for an up air, fair or something. The the up air he got to end the first stock was really, really nice. Yeah, Punish with Toussaint being on his shield. Definitely throwing some up airs out in a row. But two, just, you know, back air is the thing. Back air will beat a lot of Peach's moves. And why everyone thought this was such an unwinnable matchup for so long is <laughs> have to do with back air. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. Yep. Ryobeat's very happy about that. Knitting gets him a I don't know what the what to call that face and I don't know what it does. Stone eyes. No? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Sakurai would say? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Probably. He didn't go for the Q drop there. That's a bad sign. <laughs> I, I don't know. Does that mean anything? I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. It was so. just interesting. Yeah. Because it was a situation where Q dropping would have actually worked for sure. <laughs> don't tell him. Dude. Don't say that. All right, Ryobi bringing the same story as the other games, man. <coughs> He's definitely bringing it back somewhat. Um, much less of a lead for Toussaint than it was. Yeah. And there's really no chance of a timeout, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, and Good we edge haven't. Guard. Uh, this stage, we haven't talked about that at all. I, I don't know how. <laughs> I, um, I would have to really think about how, who, who is affected more. Yeah, by I it. don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, you brought it up. You yeah. better have some point. I thought you might have something to say. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I, platforms uh, really change things up. Yeah, you know, it's like FD. 
with the, with the with platforms. With no yeah. platforms, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good observation. Baby. Thanks. I came up with it myself. But yeah, really. Um, oh, bad DI. I Actually, say, I don't know. That might have just killed me. I, I was going to say good stuff by, by Toussaint. Um, and then he died. And then, then he died. Ryo beat really bringing it back. Oh, that was a great up smash. I don't know. Bringing it back, but 54% we've already seen. Not ti not going to time out this time, but uh, it's going to be pretty big, I think, in general. One thing about the stage, um, a little trickier to pull turnips. Um, True. You, you can't. That was. I, I don't. I don't know if I agree with that. He did get slightly punished. Taking right. any hit for pulling a turnip is a net loss. Yeah. So um, it makes it harder for him to pull it in neutral. And as we've said before, with the Q dropping, that affects. Ooh, Ooh wow! Cute little three piece. Yeah, that was really, really big in closing the gap. Oh, he misses the tech chase there, but still a huge amount of percent onto the puff. Things are looking a lot more doable for Ryo Beat right now. That's for sure. Now, uh, I think Puff is still not in kill percent. No, no, um, no, no. Peach. Uh, oh. Real He's close. In kill percent now. Yeah, next one will definitely do it. Nice air dodge there to get to safety. Oh, it's so hard though to get through the wall of backers that Tusain is putting up. Yep. Man, what a long set. <laughs> Holy crap. I know. Yeah, and it might be a 3-0. Yeah, long, one, longest 3-0 ever. Oh. We'll oh, that was so close. You saw the up smash starting to come out. That fair might have might have oh. been enough, but these guys are are so close to kill percent. Just one more hit each. Okay. Okay. Up air, I think will do it on Jiggly. Wow. He just came down okay. and killed him. That was a really weird way for the set to end. 